Professor Black Ops, you see it. Let's get it. MS Teams, passwords and tokens are in clear text <laughs> from the desktop application. So that means this makes it easier for hackers to, once they get on that infrastructure and you're on prem, because it's the desktop app, to get your credentials in, break into your teams. And we know a lot of large companies use teams. So once again, let's get at it. So super quick article. Microsoft Teams store authentication tokens, which are the passwords, it's clear text in um, in Windows, Linux, and Macs, right? So <laughs> all their versions <laughs> have bugs in it. So let's get it. Security analysts have found severe security vulnerabilities in the desktop app for Microsoft Teams that gives threat actors access to authentication tokens accounts with multi-factor authentication turned on so right there let's read that again uh threat actors gets access to authentication and tokens and accounts with mfa turned on so that that means mfa is definitely not a silver bullet there's ways to get around it because uh you got the passwords in the clear so microsoft team is a communication platform including in it the 365 products family used by more than 270 million people for exchange text messages video conferencing and storing files right you know most people know i'm a consultant and all the big <laughs> clients i have microsoft teams it's a good app though you know it's, uh definitely facilitating the work from home so the newly discovered security impact impacts versions of the application for windows linux and Mac refers to the microsoft team storing your authentication tokens in clear text without protecting access to them <laughs> which I keep chuckling because uh, Microsoft Teams has been vetted for FedRAMP, which is for DOD, nuclear, <laughs> Al-Qaeda, uh, federal compliances have been blessed for Microsoft Teams. So you would think all the eyes that's been on Teams, <laughs> that would have been found a long time ago. And you would think Microsoft as an organization would know you shouldn't store tokens in clear text, right? The attacker with local access on the system where Microsoft Team is installed can steal the tokens and use them to log into the victim's accounts. This attack does not require special permissions or advanced malware to get away with major internal damage. Cybersecurity company Vex explains in a report this week. The researcher added that they're taking control of critical seats. Like the company said of engineering, CEO or CFO attackers can convince users to perform tasks damaging to the organization. Right? Because uh, when I steal your tokens or your password, right, then I am you when I log on. People are going to see my avatar, your avatar. Uh, when I communicate, it's going to come in with your username and your position in the company. Uh, Veteran re researcher discovered a problem in August 2022, reported to Microsoft. However, Microsoft did not agree on the severity of the issue and said that does not meet the criteria for patching. Oh, my God. Come on, Microsoft. Uh, problems detail Microsoft team is an electronic app meaning that it runs in a browser uh, It runs in a browser windows completes all the elements required by a regular web app cookies string uh, sessions logs, etc Electron does not support encryption or protect file locations by default So while the software framework is versatile and easy to use It is not considered secure enough for developer mission critical products unless Extensive customization and additional work is applied. Vector analyzed Microsoft Team while finding a way to remove the deactivated accounts from client apps and found an LDB file with access tokens in the clear. Upon, re upon review, it was determined that these access tokens were active and not accidentally dumped of a previous error. These access tokens gave access to Outlook and Skype API. Additional analysis discovered that cookies folders also contain valid authentication tokens along with account information, session data, and marketing tags. So let's show you where they, uh, the folder they're looking in right there. You can see the communication opt-in token, the bearer. That's what actually validates the token. Finally, vector development is an exploit by abusing the API call that allows sending messages to oneself Using a SQLite engine to read the cookie database, the researchers received the authentication tokens as messages in the chat window. Okay, that's the chat window, that's the token. 
All right, so when you have those tokens, once again, that's your ability to log on or, or run API calls. The biggest concern is that the flaw will be abused by information stealing malware and have become one of the most commonly distributed payloads in phishing campaigns. Using this type of malware, third actors will be able to steal Microsoft Team authentication tokens and, re and remotely log on as the user, bypassing MFA and gaining full access to the account. So once again, bypassing MFA, so a lot of people ask me, how could MFA be defeated? That's why I bring these articles to you, right? I probably read one of these once a month. Information stealers are already doing this for other applications such as Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Mozilla, and Discord. Risk mitigation with the patch unlikely to be re uh, released. Fetcher recommending recommendation is for users to switch to the browser version of Microsoft Team Client. By using Microsoft Edge to load the app, users benefits from additional protection against token leak, uh, leaks. The researchers advise Linux users to move to a different collaboration suite, especially since Microsoft announced plans to stop supporting the app for the platform in December. Come on, Microsoft, show Linux some love. For those that can't move to a different solution immediately, they can create a monitoring rule to discover process accessing the directory. So it shows you these paths that once again, you set your logging on to see if anybody's reading from those directories or those registry keys. Uh, Blinken Computer has contacted Microsoft about the company's plans to release a fix for the issue. And we'll update the article when they get an answer. Update in 914, Microsoft spokesman sent the following comments. The technique describes to not meet the bar for immediate services as a requiring attacker to gain uh, access to a target network. We appreciate Vector's uh, Protect's partnership and identifying and responsibly discussing this issue and we'll consider addressing it in the future product release. So <laughs> Microsoft said they don't think that bug is big enough. For me, if you have clear tokens on a machine, right, so as soon as you do a basic phishing attack, you can grab those tokens and be off to the races. Once again, Microsoft got me shaking my head. Sometimes I'm happy with Microsoft and other times I don't know. Once again, Professor Black Ops, please subscribe.